You hear the screeching of an owl, you hear the wind begin to howl. You know there's zombies on the prowl. And it's terror time again. They've got you running through the night. It's terror time again. And you just might die of fright. It's a terrifying time. Well, shit, Indie Stone just popped out another patch on a Tuesday of all things, which usually occurs on Thursdays. But hey, I'm Core, and we're gonna break down build 41.73 like all the rest. Now, Indie Stone said this patch is the last to be done on this unstable branch before they push it to the stable build, barring any major bugs that have to be patched out while they work on 0.74. But before we dive into the build, I'd like to ask y'all to support Kato for a lovely artwork. I'd like to ask you to support the content like usual. Now, let's dive in with the new changes as well as the modeling and animation changes shall we as this patch is not exactly a huge patch mostly patching bugs and fixing small things from the last few builds this section will be rather small so I've combined a few categories so let's begin with the news, shall we? First thing is, the gas containers tooltips have been edited to make themselves a bit more useful. First is when you add fuel to a generator, it'll show how much percentage that gas container will increase the generator's fuel reserves. So say you have a full gas can, it'll fill the generator around 75%. Now when you siphon or add fuel to or from a vehicle, the tooltip will show the item's capacity in liters. And finally, when you take fuel from a gas pump, the tooltip will show the item capacity in drainable units. Next up, community translations have been updated, likely to make them more accurate to the new changes such as the tooltips. Now the medical trauma bag and canned fruit beverage have icons and textures. Now this pretty much wraps up what's new, so let's cover the models and animation changes, shall we? Now the masks for the models have been added to the extended idle animations to make them clip less, along with relevant animations being added as needed. The hoodie has had its files capped to stop transparency where it's not needed, as well as being adjusted for a new cap. Blood textures have been added to a couple shirts that were previously missing them. Some female and zombie female base textures have been fixed to stop them from having transparent holes. Now the spiffo mask has been adjusted to make it display properly on the character. Some zombie textures were re-exported to fix pixels outside the body. The high visibility vests have been adjusted to work similarly to the hunting vest for both the male and female body type. It's also had its body location changed as well. And finally, the hunting vest mask have been adjusted to work better with layers of clothes under it. The only modding related change made is the fact there's a check added to the vehicle create to help with errors. Now let's move on to the next section covering foraging, balances, and fixes, shall we? So there's only been a handful of forging related changes, so let's start with those, shall we? The double click behavior has been changed so when you pick up an item to drop it into the opened inventory container. So if you have your backpack selected, it'll throw those mushrooms straight into the backpack. Now the snow cover penalty has been adjusted to make it less severe as intense snowy weather could easily max out the penalty. An exploit has been fixed to stop you from being able to spam the search mode button to force items to change the type. And finally, a visual bug has been fixed which would cause picked up items to change to the original item before the search focus overrode it. Now with that done, let's talk about the handful of balance changes, shall we? Now if you use ginseng as a spice in a hot beverage, that beverage will provide an endurance buff. Now basil works in more recipes. Now the evolved recipe name works better so when it has only spices, this is mostly relevant to hot beverages. Now makeshift radios can be installed into vehicles, which is a pretty good change. This also means makeshift ham radios will work in the proper vehicle, speaking of which, now vehicles that have ham radios, such as military or police, can have any type of ham radio installed. 
Now luxury and modern cars also spawn with premium radios in them. If a premium radio has a CD inside of it and is transferred to or from a vehicle, the CD goes with the radio, instead of them just being Thanos snapped out of existence. Now let's break down the most important fixes, shall we? Now in custom mats, broken windows that are placed by the creator are now smashed ISO window objects, so they'll be able to be interacted with properly. Now the vehicle lights and sirens won't work anymore once the part hits zero condition due to zombies beating the unholy fuck out of it. The light bar option, however, now does show up once the part's broken, but you can't use the function anyways as it's busted and not able to be fixed unless you're using a mod. Speaking of, there's also the opposite bug where the UI would appear multiple times. This has also been fixed. The distance effects on critical hit chance with guns have been corrected. Now pans hold just as much water as pots. Now zombie maggots spawn with fishing and the game should spawn the proper poison maggots and not the normal maggots it was spawning. Gas bottles and containers should work properly in backpacks. The canned fruit beverage now reduces thirst properly. The better hot tooltip for wild eggs has been fixed. Now a gasoline bottle that's bleached isn't considered a water source? Are you telling me the game would accidentally let me guzzle down some gasoline? Hell, in this economy, it may be cheaper to drink the gas and just be done with paying for more. Speaking of eating, eating small portions of food in quarters and halves should function properly. The recipes for tearing denim and leather have been fixed. This is temporary until it's further improved later. Now you can't add a whole uncooked animal as bait, remove it, and butcher it to restore it back back to its full original hunger values. Now the Molotov cocktail shouldn't accidentally create spare empty bottles, therefore breaking the laws that govern conservation of mass. Burgers have been updated to let you use baked bread slices for burgers as well. Now hot drinks that include alcohol shouldn't be as strong. Violets have been returned to the game, which were accidentally removed. Peaches now no longer have the food type of berry. And the final change is there's been various mapping issues or around the map fixed. With this covered, let's move on to the wrap up and conclusion, shall we? Overall, it's another small but effective patch, adding some needed fixes as well as a handful of new things. Not a standout patch, it's mostly just the fixes and minor changes, but still necessary. I'm definitely glad to see the gasoline tooltip tweaks though. Making those better is definitely a beneficial thing and helps to provide more information to the player. But outside of that, there's not a, uh, anything else that's really a huge standout change. Maybe the change of letting you add makeshift radios to cars, which is definitely cool. Though I don't really ever see people use makeshift radios outside of for grinding the skill. Especially as radios are one of the most prevalent resources given that every car has one usually, and many houses spawn them. Still, it's a cool change for those who want it. And I think this is a good place to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate the support of liking or sharing the content. I'd also like to thank every one of the members listed on screen. Y'all's continued support means a lot to me. This has been Core, and I'll see you in the next video or stream.